I'm from Rio de Janeiro, in a place that we call Vargem Grande. It's between the mountain and the ocean. When it was good waves, I was surfing. When I didn't have waves, I was training Jiu-Jitsu. When I was little, my grandfather, he was always telling me to don't rely on punch and kicks because punch and kick, it's part of the nature of the human being. Everyone can do it. To really control someone, I have to put it down on the floor and use my brain instead of my muscles. Carlos Gracie Jr., my master, he always had the dream from his dad that the world would be a better place if everyone did Jiu-Jitsu. And he always told me that since I was a teenager. And he could see what the Jiu-Jitsu did for his whole family. And he was thinking about if the Jiu-Jitsu changed my whole family, imagine if he could do this in the world. In 2004, he asked me to move to Portugal to spread the Grace Barra and the Jiu Jitsu. And that's what I did. Three minutes, in three minutes we started. Very good. Nice. That's it. And again. Nossa! Hey! Ai! Oh my goodness! That's proper. Move here, guys. Move here. Move Look here a little straight. bit. My back is straight. Like I'm a bigger gorilla now. Can you see? Do I look like, right? So who? Now sit on the bench. Very good. Keep on your solid. Don't let it, yeah. When I find out I was, I was sick, uh, the doctor, he called me in the room and he said that I wouldn't be able to compete in high level anymore and I wouldn't be able to have a child. I believe the, the philosophy from Carlos Great Sr. He believes so much if the person does Jiu Jitsu, they will have to face himself so much. They will have to learn so much about the leverage of his body, how to use his mind. Imagine you have a tool in your hands that's going to help you for the rest of your life to look straight. To face the world with confidence, knowing that you can do anything in life. You will learn this on the mat. Jiu-Jitsu will teach you that. For many days, I was in the hospital and I was feeling that today they can suppress my guard. But tomorrow, I'm gonna sweep and I'm gonna mount again. One of the biggest on the Rio de Janeiro competition, I spoke to my friend and I said, I really want to compete in that. I told him, I just want to feel the same things that I used to feel before I'd be sick. I don't want to win, I just want to have fun, I told him. I can see how scared those people are to fight against me. They don't have an idea how sick I am. And then while I was fighting, my kimono got stuck on my forearm. The forearm got, you know, really pumped because of the grip. And then I could see my whole veins. Because when doing chemotherapy, all your veins disappear. I look at Dr. Alexandre, he understood right away what I was trying to say. When I could see my whole veins, I could see my body was alive again. We got so emotional in the middle of the fight and people could not really understand what's going on. Jiu-Jitsu uh, brought me back to, to life. Lu 
Luch. What Luch means? You guys have been competing. That's in Portuguese. What Luch? Luckily, he was wrong. I managed to compete in high level, and I managed to to have Little Re with us. And it's it's um is a the real miracle, the real miracle. And I couldn't do this without Jiu-Jitsu at all. I came straight from the roots. My main goal to help my master achieve the vision of his dad. My beautiful wife with Phoebe, with Rio, we have the extension of family inside our mats. If you're around, come over and make part of our family. And I'm pretty sure you guys are not gonna get disappointed. Yes.